suit up. Hi, thank you for having me. Hello, Tyler. Hi. How do you feel? Uh, Are you ready to discuss the enemy? I have a list of words that I can't say. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, there are. There are some words that you cannot say. I gave Tyler a pre-show pep talk. So Tyler is one of those people that I've forever wanted to have on a podcast, but uh, have yet to be able to have him on because you'll come out of your house very often. No, it's scary outside. It is, and it's cold. It's getting cold. I gotta turn this shit down because it's so distracting. I just want this to is a good song. I like this song. I was ready to shit on it, throw it right in the ship in, but <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. This is me playing. You're welcome. No anime. <laughs> you know, uh, 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 Vegeta doesn't go KO Ken, so that's inaccurate. It's not KO Ken, you dumb that's motherfucker. Fucking KO Ken's red. You are striking out right away, Tyler. You what dumb is that? Mother- Dragon Ball GT. Is he supposed to be like a little kid in that one? With G just like a little kid? I wish we had a video for the first time I was able to see my fucking face and how perturbed suddenly I've become. Also, also, that's not enough Dragon Balls. But I digress. There's seven just... there. How many Dragon Balls do you think there are? Four. What's the most important Dragon Ball? Four star. All the rest are trash. Throw it in the ship in. But you need the other six to make the wish, bro. <laughs> yeah, but the wish is... I don't think you're following my logic here. The point is, the point is, Vegeta doesn't go Cobra Kai, and there he is clearly, clearly. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai Two just came out. Electric Boogaloo. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. No. Like season two of Cobra Kai. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty good. I watched it. That's the ad, that's the it's it's like a sequel to uh, uh, a Karate Kid. I know, I but it's about it. the g- guy who swept the leg. His name's Johnny Lawrence. How He's runner up in the All Bear. How do you know this? Because it's the Karate Kid, is? motherfucker. We don't. Th- we talk about Dragon Ball. We talk about Star Wars. We never talked about. Karate Kid. Yeah, because I'm a Karate you Kid. Don't know about it. Jesus. I don't. I didn't pretend to. Dude. But John. Cobra Kai. Yeah. That was the, that, I didn't see it either. That was. Oh, no. I watched both seasons. It's really good. Is it good? It's Yo. awesome, actually. Did you watch yeah. it too, Scott? Yeah, Scott and Feds are yeah. here. Me and Tyler just had a yeah. really long intro. Uh, so, that, Tyler, welcome intro. to the show. Oh, we wait. <laughs> There's stuff to do. <laughs> Feds. Hey. 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 What's going on? And then. You're going to skip on your intro because you've been a regular lately. And then yeah. Scott was here. My favorite. I've, I've been here before. For what, though? <laughs> I've been oh, here before. Um, uh, uh, Cowboy Bebop. And oh, then... but nobody's ever heard Cowboy Bebops. If you want to hear the Cowboy Whoa. Bebops, you better get on that. Patreon.com slash Dragon Ball Super Dope. I love Yo, Cowboy Bebop. Even... Take my money. I didn't even know that. How do I know that? Oh, I just said I didn't even know that. Oh, you didn't know that. No, that was actually an accidental plug. Yeah. No, I didn't set Scott up for that. You have done some bebop, and I have not edited or listened to them because me and Mike Norm got into a huge fight about them Um... very early on in the process. And I hate recorded the following 10 episodes without him. <laughs> and I just have not wanted to go back and listen to it because he has to get married in a few weeks. So maybe once Mike and Amber are married, I'll edit the Bebops. But you did um, the Akira episode as well. Oh, oh, I did. Yeah. yeah. And I, I fucking called the main character a uh, different name the entire time. Canada? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. What, Canada. No, you didn't do Canada. You did Tetsu. You did Tetsu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kept saying Tetsu instead of Tetsuo. Yes, that's what happened. <laughs> what an asshole! Oh, dude, <laughs> I think about it to this day. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it haunts him at night. I thought I corrected you in a very classy way. You were like Tetsu, uh, and I was like, oh yeah, Tetsuo. Tetsuo. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were no. going to say like tissue or something. <laughs> Canada, Canada. That's a pretty common. Canada. One. I say Canada just because. I'm sorry yeah, I fun. scarred you like that, Scott. No, no. I haven't been scarred. I've just been thinking about it for the past <laughs> few months. <Unstopped. laughs> 
It just haunts my entire being. It happened in like April, bro. <laughs> Did I wreck half of your 2019 with my one comment? I mean, like. Yeah. I mean, it like it was a damper on my birthday. That was. Oh about- my god! <laughs> oh man! You were really sad that day. I actually remember that you cried. That was crazy. Tyler, you're not helping me, dude. <laughs> man, you ruined the fucking guy's birthday. His dude. birthday. He only gets like his birthday. One a year. Yeah. That is how the birthdays work. Yeah. Unless you were, if you're born on a leap year, year do you ever get two? Or do you just you get, get one, one every four one. years? Yeah, you get less than two Pretty a year. You get shit. one every four years. I, f- I figured like there would be some sort of give or take and give where like nah, so- sometimes you, you get like two world. birthdays. Of fucking Have one. you looked around in the world, Tyler? No, I we talked about this. That's right. You don't come out the house. Well, anyway, the world's not a very forgiving place at the moment. No, man. Oh, so wow. they don't give you shit. In fact, they say, what's up? You got a leap year birthday? That sucks dick. Uh, now you're going to get one every eight years because fuck you, kid. They're going to shoot you in the dick. <laughs> That's how leap years work. You don't shoot people in the dick, man. They do after they take your fucking every it's other leap cool. year birthday. It's not cool. They shoot it's not you right cool. in the dick. All right. So today we watched <laughs> Boku no Hero Academia. I got to stop saying it like that because it's probably. No, I like to Do it again, please. Boku no Hero Academia. Boku no. <laughs> Scott, you going to make it? Man. This is why. <laughs> this, is, this is why I hang out with Scott all the time because it's very easy to make him laugh. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Scott person. makes me feel like I'm funny. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so we wa- today we watched My Hero Academia. Episode 2, Season 4. Tyler's going to read my notes. Can you read them? No. You want... Is this it cause, looks... <laughs> is it because of the appearance of my handwriting? Go ahead. Yeah, tell his handwriting blows. So what's the show about? It's about superhero school, Harry Potter shit, X-Men shit, fucking each other. Oh, fucking each other? I didn't see. I only saw <laughs> the last half of this episode. You didn't tell me it was also just hentai sometimes. Yeah, you got to watch the whole series. <laughs> All right, I'm down. You're only like 64 episodes behind. Hey. I can uh, I can catch up. You know, you actually got me kind of interested in watching this because uh, what's the like main hero's name? All Not Might. the main character, All Might. Yeah. Because you likened him to Superman. Yeah. And oh, I found that's that right. very interesting. Dude, me and you talked about, so I did a podcast on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, not this past, most recent episode, but the episode previous, I did an All Might, Goku, Superman fucking episode. Why the fuck? Because I know you don't have my phone number, but you should have called me. Who did I do it with? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, was 69. it you? And then Jimmy was last week. All right, so it was me and Feds. Yeah, because you know All Might. Duh. Jimmy just knows how to drink a beer. Uh, we did that whole thing, but it all started off of that conversation that me and you had. Oh, dang. And I was like, yo, that would be an interesting idea for... Initially, I thought it might have become a Comic-Con panel, but I do not have time to do a fucking podcast every week Comic-Con, right now. stop calling us, okay? We just don't have the time. That's uh, what I told them. I... <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of you. So, at the risk of sounding like I was... <laughs> I fucking hate you. So, at the risk of sounding like I was just trying to big time just now... You did. We did a panel at Comic-Con last year. Oh, dang. That's really impressive. It I'm was impressed. Fun. It was a good time. Uh, shout out to... Fuck. What was his name? Alessandro? The little kid. You should have written in your notes. I mean, it was like a year ago. I'm sorry, Alessandro. <laughs> um, anyway, we did our Comic-Con panel... And it was a lot of fucking work, dude. Like we really, had to, yeah. I figured you just walked on the like grips will set up the whole thing, and then you just walk on the fucking stage. I will literally kick you in the nads. No, I've never done it. It was uh, not big this, time like the you. Sound system was set up, but we had to like get people in the room. Did you have to move the tables too, and chairs? No. All right, that's pretty good. No, they were already set up for an audience. There's a panel before us that was uh bunch of eighth graders literally eighth graders <laughs> <laughs> tough act to follow it really was dude. we were feeling super confident going out there <laughs> we're like what's up you little 14 year old know-it-alls you stupid cosplays watch this titties and they're like whoa <laughs> i didn't show them my titties what kind of no you just say you... titties and you go Fortnite, and then they're like oh this is good oh. Fortnite two? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just got an alarm uh, that went off on my phone for something that should have gone off at uh, 10 o'clock this morning, but it went off now. So Is it 10 o'clock at night? Nope. 
I apparently just can't set my alarms. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was for a second. What though. time I was like, is it? What time? Eight thirty. Eight thirty. You biffed it hard. You dude. biffed. Yeah. The consequences will never be the same. Biffed. So uh, the episode name is just uh, overhaul. We meet overhaul in this episode. Now Tyler and Scott don't have much of a point of reference for who overhaul is, but uh, you didn't even see who the fuck he was. You walked in literally the second half of the episode, so I'll ask you to reserve judgment. Okay. Big beak nose motherfucker. Yep. Walks in, starts making demands. You think the obvious demand would be like, we're going to join up and be best friends and we're going to take down the world of heroes together, right? <laughs> we will be best friends. That's, that's not, not his, the case. That's not his game, That man. is not the case, man. His game is, you see this beak nose? What? I wear it because it asserts dominance over my foes. <laughs> <laughs> is this true? Is this real? <laughs> yeah, it's just a dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wrote this. He's like, I'm going to stick this long-ass beak nose thing right no. up in your shit and take over your league. And be the leader now. I'm the I'm the evil hero now. Can you be evil in a hero? Did he say? In this universe, no. I'm I'm asking real questions. No, Can you did be you evil follow it up hero? with decent though? <laughs> <laughs> you be evil hero decent. I might have. I just like the sound of my voice, no, not the words. Good. So I said hero, but I think I meant to say the leader. Leaders aren't always heroes. Everybody, keep that shit in mind. Your fucking bum, current bum, administration. Bum. Woof. Hey, I no politics. Too much credit and calling him a leader. For I know, politics? but it's all that's on my brain. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Tyler, who did you vote for? <laughs> uh, I voted for Frank Zappa because both candidates were kind of shit. He's so dead. Like, You're part of the problem. No, Frank Zappa. <laughs> Frank Zappa is smarter than all of us, right? He's, He's also more fucking deader than all no, of us. No, you, you need still. to listen to my explanation. He's smarter than all of us, right? He's more politically minded, and he's fucking dead, so he can't say anything stupid again. <laughs> oh, dead was your third reason. Th that's <laughs> Got it. I thought you were uh, acknowledging my dead thing because you thought he was alive, and I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to show you the I'm not that stupid. I'm going to show you the internet I'm not... so fast. <laughs> if I vote for somebody, I'm going to know if they're dead or not, at least. That's good. So anyway... Overall goes in and he says, What's up, Shigaraki? I'm taking all your toys. This is mine now. And Shigaraki says, No, I'm the leader. Fuck you. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Good yep. setup. We've only got eleven minutes for this interaction to happen in the first half of this episode. <laughs> Obviously the uh the, the negotiation up front pretty much for not, yo. Yeah. Uh right away. Overall is like, All right, well, uh I wanna know what's going on with uh all for one. And I thought it was interesting that all for one to this point in the story has very much been except, you know, to the central league of, of uh, villains. And then obviously the heroes who have seen or directly interacted with him. Um, all for one is sort of a mythos in this world. And overall coming in off the street out of nowhere, allegedly being this low level Yakuza thug. He knows that this person actually exists. So I thought that that was an interesting point that he knows this and and you know just asks point blank Shigaraki the 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 um, predecessor not can predecessor ask, that's person can before. I, right? Can I interject real quick? What is what's all for one's powers? Everything he basically can <laughs> steal. <laughs> I no, want that power. It, he's gonna it, win. His dick's huge. His butthole's off. wide. He's got everything. He can steal anybody's <laughs> power. He can steal anybody's quirk. Oh, he's like that guy from uh uh what's that? What's that show? Uh, Talking about uh, Rogue from X Men. Yes. Yep. That Rogue's guy. a girl. Yep. She's a Southern Belle. No. no. <laughs> I was no no the, the heroes. That X Men show. Mm. The the X Men show from the nineties. They only had that one pilot. Yeah. I like that one. What Pride of the X Men with Kitty Pride? No, the fucking one from the like mid or early nineties. It only had one pile. Oh, and the stretchy about, dude, Gen X, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they get that. the costumes at the end. They're like, "That's dope," even though it looks like shit. I thought Gen X had a full season. Chuck though. Norris oh. was it in it? No. Okay, wait, wait. Are you thinking of one from the two thousands, the animated one? This one was live action. No, from no, no. The I'm 90s. thinking of a live action one. I thought it was Gen X, and I thought it was a full season. Maybe it was only a pilot. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have even brought this up because I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, all of a sudden. I just want to go to YouTube and find Gen X clips from the 90s. It's almost as if it's more interesting than this. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> On the contrary, please listen and subscribe. 
<laughs> Hit that out. bell to get other notifications on Smash your that fucking phone. Button. <laughs> Your toilet will tell you when the next episode's coming out. Hey, it's Holly. What was your take on this episode? I actually liked it. I I hated that wide eyed guy. What the fuck is his name? His name's Azuka Midoriya. It's uh, easy to remember. Azuka Midoriya <laughs> is my new favorite. He's my bae. That's really what he is. What? Oh, uh, are you talking about are you talking about Mirio Togata? Are you talking about Azuka Midoriya? You know, I always get the two confused. How could you not? Blonde hair or green hair? <laughs> I think he was blonde. He looked like a white guy. Mirio Togeda. Yeah. Mirio Togeda. He's Togata. Go find out. <laughs> I, I, uh-huh. I, see, I hated that at first, but then they doubled and then tripled and then quadrupled down on how lame he is. I'm like, I like this Dude, guy. First time you meet I like Mirio, this guy. He's buck naked. <coughs> he's just buck naked. Ooh. Yeah, man. It's weird. And then he faces off in front of a whole class of. Is of this like where it 15. gets to be hentai? Is it just. I told Yowie, you, or is it like I told all you kinds you of have, hentai? I told you that you have to watch. All right, we're gonna have to watch it in private with our shirts off. Okay. Everyone of now. But I don't want to. It's just to get you to watch the show. Yeah. Okay. God damn it, Tyler! No more Yowie fantasies for you. It's him. Obviously, he's hanging dong in front of 15, 15 year old kids. He's naked right now. I'm not naked. Togata, Mirio Togata was naked. No, no. Tyler is naked. Tyler Bashline. Uh-huh. Um, That's me. <laughs> uh, can you say your so- social security number as it's well? Four four one five five two one three two or two three. Uh, dude, you're missing like three letters. I'm going to let everyone think about that for like one second. Ah, it was a joke. You know the letters you want social security number, you fucking <laughs> idiot. You know idiot. the letters you want social security number? <laughs> I was just, okay. Yeah, let's get this yep, show no, on the sure. fucking road. For sure. So you have a you have a boy crush on Mario Togata. We didn't even talk oh, about yeah, the fact that, uh, that that cone beak there, talking through his cone beak overhaul. Um, complete... Is it, I, I didn't see him. It's like one of those like old school like doctors. Uh, yeah, 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 sort of similar, but sounds like it's made out of paper mache. Like I'm curious as to how the actor records his lines. Like if he actually has a mechanism, he probably does like that. Maybe it could just be something yeah. like that. Did you hear everyone brushing their teeth in this episode? Just like oh, I'm brushing my teeth. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. fucking Annette is like, I'm sorry, I can't leave the house. I today. cannot leave the house as he's brushing his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I love shit like that in it's like animated gonna, stuff. I'm telling you, I said it during, while we watched it. He makes, he must make a fucking. In the dub, he says, "I gotta study some websites." Mm-hmm. But what kind of websites does homeboy study? Have you uh, seen the sub yet? No, I haven't watched the sub yet. I know I'm turning into a dirty little fucking American weeb. Anyway, Scott, how did you feel about My Hero Academia? What well, What was up with that dude's lips? <laughs> Magnes. So this is a great segue, Scott. I don't think you did it on purpose, but it was the first thing that you he brought up. He always does it on purpose. Don't he, take that away from He me. was very much... Um, I'm up here. He's up here. We're, <laughs> we're down in the ship. He was very much concerned about Magnes' lips. <laughs> I believe that's how you say his name. I see it on the screen, but uh, it doesn't matter, though, Scott. You know why? Because about 10 minutes later, not even, five minutes later... He yeah, got he... blown the fuck up. <laughs> he did. I remember oh, that. I and his it. blood exploded all over Overhaul's real nice jacket. And How, was nice was it? How nice was it? How nice was it? Too nice. It was fur. <laughs> How nice was it? If it was a model, no. If it was a stripper, <laughs> it would, wouldn't would have. No. Do you want to start from the beginning? <laughs> How nice was everybody? How nice was it? If it was a car, it would have been a Lamborghini. <laughs> How nice was it? I already told you. What are you, deaf? <laughs> he obviously said it was as nice as a Viberghini. Yep, I, I heard. Flamborghini. Yeah. Flamborghini. Flamborghini. A Flamborghini. So Porcini. O- Overhaul was very obviously upset about his uh, ruined jacket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's see. I like that Shigaraki was quick to jump in and uh, defend Compress. Compress. Um, 
he wasn't like um, affected by whatever bullets his boy in the shadow was shooting at him to seemingly nullify their. What quirks. kind of bullets were they? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't have that ability to see into the future, Tyler. <laughs> You'd been here for the first I didn't... minutes. I got you would know all about these quirks suppressing bullets that for some reason. Listen, I wanted to watch Rocky Texas skin. Chainsaw Massacre and I ended up on a podcast. Yo, I would watch the first Texas Chainsaw oh Massacre. Oh my god. I would watch that. the first two. The second one's supposed to be very good. I'm distracting you though. Oh, the second one is yeah. hilarious. The written second in, one is when they lean into the camp. The first well, one is yes. written and directed by the same guys. Who realized that their first one was a fucking complete sham and they were like, let's really <sighs> see how much we can lean into this. <laughs> No, but like there was a lot of love. fuck the the whole thing about yeah. the first one was that the way it was shot was so rudimentary that people were like, it was almost kind of like the Blair Witch of its day. Not that it was presented as a reality thing like that. Mm-hmm. People were like, this seems real. Like they didn't put a lot of fucking money into effects and like dressing that up. No, that's like a no budget miracle. That's film. like it's yeah. a dude in a scary fucking skin based mask who's got a chainsaw. And people were like, this is rooted in, this is real life. That was the other thing. They, it said that it was based on a true story. Which, <laughs> it totally fucking wasn't, obviously. It wasn't. But that I mean, it that. technically was, but it had nothing to do with the story that it was based on. Yeah. Then, then that's all I you know about it. I haven't seen it. call though. anything yeah. a true story at this point. Are that's you based on a true story? Yes. Yeah. No, you're not. I, no, no the, this podcast is based on <laughs> true story. It's happening live. It's fake. Well, news. only for me. It's fake news. So Orwell immediately challenges Shigaraki on his leadership abilities and says, "Hey, you've lost all these major pieces through this time with your League of Villains. You had a dude like Stain. You had a dude like Muscular. And you just keep pissing them the fuck away. I should be the leader of this bitch." Shigaraki's like, "Nah, fuck you." And then all of a sudden, his boys try to step to him. Shigaraki's like, hey, boys. Yeah, see? Get him. I don't think he really encourages them to attack him, but <laughs> Compress, for whatever reason, decides that he's going to follow up. Magnes, all right? I like that Magnes' final, really only legitimate scene in this whole entire thing is him confessing that he's been fucking a, like a cross-dresser <laughs> and that the cross-dresser's word of advice to him and why it's to try to justify his attack against this dude is to say something to the effect of like, those who are bound by society's chains laugh at those who aren't. And like, it's this big burly man with this big beard and his pigtails and his pink dress. And that's what Magnes is going out fighting for. He's like, that's the that's the virtues that have been instilled in me by my cross-dressing girl boyfriend. And I'm rolling with it. And I'm going to attack this big bad trying to come over and take over our fucking League of Villains. So, it's blown the fuck up. Everyone's just perfectly good jacket. One for one, Shigaraki jumps in. He doesn't get fucking hurt. Kills one of, rots one of his dudes, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. We all now know that this is going to be a three way battle now. It's yep. been Shigaraki to Deku at this point, And now Overhaul's coming in trying to claim some territory like the true low level Yakuza thug he is. Their words, not mine. We, d- we have to tell Tyler to go outside and smoke a cigarette. So that's how I just got through that so quickly. <laughs> Flash over to uh, class 1A and Aizawa, took me a minute, Aizawa's talking to them about their work studies and basically the precautions that they're going to be trying to take as an organization, as a school going forward with work studies this year. Um, basically, the idea is um, they considered canceling them altogether, considering the high profile bullshit that this class has gone through to this point in their first year in high school. Uh, and thought, like, in the interest of protecting the kids, and now that All Might's retired, maybe it just isn't as safe. But instead of canceling it altogether, they've decided that they need to be a little bit more selective as to which agencies will be able to sponsor heroes from UA High this year. So, um, early in the episode, Deku uh, placed a call out to Gran Torino, said, hey, can you introduce me to some people? Gran Torino says, hey, kid, All Might is literally Superman. And he knows everybody in the world. You should probably ask him. He's your boy. Uh, so he asks All Might, hey, can you introduce me to some people? Asks to be introduced to Sir Night Eye, who is not a character that I'm familiar with because haven't read the manga. I'm going into this thing blind. Um, Sir Night Eye is a former sidekick of All Might. And he's a tall, thin, gaunt, mean-looking dude with a nice suit and some nerdy-ass glasses. He looks like Scarecrow Ida. Almost, you know, he's like super tall and gaunt, has that Ida appearance, like the studious nerd haircut to the side. Um, But he's got these mean eyes, 
which I assume play into his quirk. So he wants to get the invite to meet with him. For whatever reason, All Might refuses to make the introduction. I'm curious to learn why All Might and Sir Knight I have fell out of touch. Obviously, something kicked that off to make that rift develop. Uh, so I definitely want to hear more about that. But All Might's like, yeah, you're right. You should meet this dude, but I'm not going to be able to do it, which is weird for All Might, by the way. He's usually a dude who is never too proud to do the right thing. And I think in this case, you could probably say that this is the right thing, given that All Might's not really able to be the uh, the hands-on mentor that Homeboy's probably going to need at this point in his career. He's very much a hands-off Yoda type. Not that Yoda couldn't fuck you up with a force choke, but I digress. Uh, he refuses to make the introduction for the night eye uh, and says, I know a dude who can, though. And that's when Tyler's man crush Monday comes in, Mario Toguta. Togata go see what All Might needs with me. That was a rhyme. So Togata, who makes the best joke of the episode, in my opinion, next shot, it's, it's Mario and Deku on one couch, All Might on the seat across from them. And the scene opens up and it just pans in and Mira goes, you are here! <laughs> like, total fucking fanboy moment. So it's like, ah, uh, it's so fucking funny. Uh, he's got like the best demeanor. I can't wait to fucking have more fun with this dude. Tyler, perfect timing. I'm talking about your man crush Monday. Mira Togoda. So him and his big blue-eyed gaze uh, has decided like, yeah, no, I'll totally make the introduction for you. More than happy to do it. He also questions that like, all Might, what's the deal? Why won't you introduce this kid? Um, he's always watching videos of you at his office, which is like kind of a creepy thing to say to somebody. Um, my boss watches videos of you all the time in his office and his downtime when he's alone, but whatever. He you said it. Flash drive with all videos of you. No, nah, man. YouTube playlist favorites. <laughs> Just real serious favorites. Uh, Mirio agrees to take. Deku to meet Night Eye, and the next shot you're seeing Night Eye being briefed by his sidekick Bubble Girl, and I don't know what the fuck she's getting or she's briefing him on, but he could not give any less of a shit about it. Bubble Girl's tits, by the way, are introduced before Bubble Girl. I want to point that out. This That's is a very specific anime. Common anime trope. Exactly. Yes. Titties first. Gotta make a good impression. Exactly. Uh, and- duh. Do you not know anything about anime? So, Bubble Girl and her boobies could not be less impressive to Sir Night Eye, who is just <laughs> watching YouTube clips of his old fucking boyfriend all night. So, uh, he comes in, he basically stops, cuts her off mid sentence, just gets like importantly angry, like well, seemingly out of nowhere, just like, that's enough. I think it's exactly what he says. Mm-hmm. And it's like, this dude's a dick. What's his problem? And then he says a line that I thought I misheard. Uh, it was something like, this world is nothing without uh, humor and what, justice? What What was that? It was like cheer or something? No, no, no. It was like something it could important. Have been some, it could have been something related to justice. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. That, it was humor and then something actually kind of fucking important. So that line ties into what All Might's whole thing is about. And yeah. All Might's whole thing is, you know, be a hero, always be there to save the day, just save the day with a smile and then, you know, whatever. So Very you can Superman, see how, yeah. like, though, exactly. So you can see how those two characters aligned that have previously worked in the past, him as a sidekick. He carries those same virtues forward. But it's just weird that, A, he's such, like, um... Um, seemingly emotionally reserved dude from everything we've seen to this point. He's got the, that fucking deep gaze where he looks like mm-hmm. he's about to kill you with his eyes. Cuts off his fucking report, uh, his it sidekick. It seems weird that she, he would be so much into humor as well with with that fucking gaze. With all, exactly. With yeah. everything that he's pictured out to be, the last thing that you would expect him to be is somebody who's all about laughter. Louis C.K. should still go out and do stand-up. Yeah, he should totally like... keep jerking off in front of people too, but... This dude doesn't believe in jerking off in front of people. He believes in getting them into some kind of weird sex device and tickling them. Literally uh, real, tickling her with the you know those little bean vibrators with the with the with the cord on them. I saw feathers. You saw vibrators. I saw yeah. vibrated. What did I you see? I saw feathers. You saw feather. You guys are fucking. Get, go back to the first grade because those were vibrators. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. No. Nah. Somebody. Is there other comments on this? Will people can people leave comments? Leave a comment. What did you think? Feathers or vibrators? 
<laughs> also, then leave a comment which one you prefer. <laughs> So, uh, obviously, humor being such an important part to then Night like Eye. Then like and subscribe. Obviously, humor being such an important part to Night Eye, Deku uh, is then tasked with the uh, the seemingly insurmountable task of making this, you know, prude prick laugh. Um, when Mirio introduces him, he's like, hey, what's up? You know, this is Deku, uh, Zuka Midoriya. Um, and then Deku's default to try to make dude laugh Again, unbeknownst to him, he doesn't realize that he was just croaking off to all my clips on YouTube five minutes ago. Yeah, they have something really in common. He does the All Might face <laughs> from one of the earliest episodes. I think it's like season two, episode one, where they're doing the recap of Dagobah Beach, and All Might says to him, remember what I said to you last year when I transferred my power to you? And Izuku goes, eat this! And he's got his <laughs> fucking All Might face on. It's one of my favorite moments ever in this series very and memeable you said it's the most memeable thing in the world i've got oh, it yeah. on my phone i use it in show art for this fucking show on patreon oh my god i've seen that so i love this face the fact that the fact that this face reemerges today as like a plot point is just fascinating in and of yeah. itself but like they also go back through like the history of it he's like i've been practicing my all might face since as long as i could remember it just shows him like growing up in the mirror practicing his all might face is pretty ridiculous fucking all yeah. my face and you know what it is it's good joke form too where it's just set up and the payoff and then pay has off. been the punchline yeah seriously two full seasons later <laughs> like dun, 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 when you dun, dun, told me that i was like this. oh wait, maybe i do need to watch this fucking show oh you do man. maybe there's enough no. here uh, uh the comedic elements aren't um nearly as uh important good as, as the I action but it's it's there throughout and it's sprinkled in tastefully Dun, 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 is it more than dun, 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 dun. I hate to derail you again but is it more than Dragon Ball Z in terms of humor Cause Dragon Ball oh, Z yes Dragon Ball no uh, okay okay because Dragon Ball is kind of a gag uh, manga and then Dragon Ball Z is funny Dragon Ball Z in games. a way that I don't think they meant to be funny <laughs> Um, everyone wait for Goku I find that very funny Get yeah, the Z no, sword. Those, it doesn't mean anything. Those... Do the fusion. It doesn't mean anything. Piccolo's back doesn't mean it. You're, you're, yeah. you're you, waiting for Goku. You, I mean, if you know the history of Dragon Ball, you know what those are. Those yeah, are just yeah. Trying, yeah, yeah. Trying, drying out time, dude. Drying mm -hmm. out time. But like the intentional humor of Dragon Ball doesn't come very. It doesn't come until very, very late in the game until the Buu Saga comes back, and it's like, and hey, then it doesn't work a lot. Hey, of the remember time. this fucking story about a naked ass little kid running around karate chopping fucking super tooth tigers and shit? We should dude, bring that back. <laughs> I love that the announcer for the World Martial Arts Tournament. Is like goku <laughs> how have you been yeah man yeah like, like he fucking remembers this little like kid from this when he dude was eight. killed king piccolo back in the day what do you mean this kid day. what do you mean this kid he was the same guy every fucking time tyler he was still a kid when he killed he king piccolo his goddamn child he was you a don't kid forget a child in a bright orange game who just killed a bright green demon anyway that's the point i'm trying to make thank you for uh reinforcing what i said <laughs> get you to flip <laughs> So, the episode ends on a cliffhanger where yeah. does what the fuck is that guy's name? Night Eye. Night Eye find this impression humorous. I feel like he will because he's a big uh, All Might fan. Well, he just looks at him and goes, "Are you making light of the symbol of peace?" And he's like, "What's up with your fucking face?" There's boy? nothing funnier than taking something you can't make fun of. And then making fun of it. So tempted to ask you for an example, but I will oh, shall refrain. I have a list of things that I, imagine, I cannot reply. I about. imagine that you would, but <laughs> Sir Night Eye seemingly did not take kindly to this joke. This is the cliffhanger. This is the anime trope. This is by the next uh, Shonen Jump. Is uh, what this uh, episode is. I really, I really appreciated it. That's literally. It did make me want to watch more. It's literally every episode of every show I've ever made. Yep. Got the setup, got the happenings, got the cliffhanger. In Japan, they have so many stores that just sell things that are one piece. They have two one piece only stores that are like literally on the same. It's like Starbucks over there. It's crazy. One, yeah, one piece is very popular. That's not what we're talking about. I don't know why you would bring that up. I never watched it. Of you? No. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> you didn't got time to watch 900 episodes of shit? 
Huh? You don't have time to watch 900 episodes? Uh, it's God, it's got to be more than that, right? No, nah, I'm pretty sure it's eight plus less than nine. I'm, I'm How many I think. DBZ? Do you know offhand? Like six? DBZ is, two, DBZ is 291. Two no, really? Dragon Ball Z. Are you talking about Kai or are you talking about the original? Dragon Ball first series is 153. Dragon Ball Z is 291. Dragon Ball GT is 64. Dragon Ball Super is 131. Hold on. Did you just say GT? GT is 64. Why would you even list that why would you even think of because the dragon ball series dragon no ball it's kind of no, literally doesn't even dragon ball z kai count. is 176 i think goku's a kid and he has to wear diapers now and then he flies in the spaceship with his niece it's not his niece his granddaughter you ignorant prick <laughs> jesus get the fuck off my dragon ball podcast who's gonna fuck. do it should you rate Wait, and subscribe i thought we were talking about shonen no jumpu or apple podcast <laughs> Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube is Remember place. to like, comment, and sub- don't comment. Remember to like and subscribe and hit What the was bell. your question for people? Didn't you have a question? I did. I had a big question. And now it's gone. No, I remember it. If you like Tyler's appearance today, let me know. Don't. <laughs> so I can come back. <laughs> don't like him or don't tell me. <laughs> Four people are going to watch this and you're not going to get any comments. You're be like, Fuck. <laughs> Some of the most, I, I'll, I'll, I'll estimate at least sixty yeah. percent of this will make the public cut. Uh, if you want to hear the uncut episode, though, mm-hmm. and all the extra bullshit that me and Tyler just went through, because Tyler fucking made an impression. You did well. I always do well. Oh, why would you tell me that? The thing that I already know. Because we got to corral you. No, yeah, I, I kept distracting you. I'm sorry. If you want to hear the uncut version with Tyler, make sure you go to Dragon Ball. What the fuck is it? Patreon.com. Shitbin.com. <laughs> Shitbin.com. Shitbin.biz. Uh, <laughs> Shitbin.i. What is it? Give me money. <laughs> Shit. Patreon.com slash Dragon Ball Super Dope. Dragon Ball Super Dope. And uh, you can get the uncut version of this episode. God bless your soul. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's gonna do it for Dragon Ball Super Dope, Super Dope Plus Ultra. I don't know, man. I'm like kind of thinking about splitting, quitting off. podcasts. I'm gonna sidestep what you just said <laughs> and pretend <laughs> that's that a I, good. That's a good move. Yeah, I pretend I didn't want to just fucking inherently punch you in the face. <laughs> You can just kiss me on the forehead if you're, like, really mad, and then I'll know, like, oh, shit, I should stop fucking with Kyle. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. If, if I get close enough to kiss your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a headbutt. It's not good. It's not good. I have been thinking about maybe just splitting off Plus Ultra as its own thing. Like, comment, and subscribe. But that's a lot of work. Of fucking extra work. Is it? So... Don't you just register like a domain or something? So I'm not sure if it's worth it at this point or if we can just keep releasing super dope stuff and dra- uh, super dope. If we just keep releasing Plus Ultra on the same feed as Dragon Ball stuff. I don't know. If you have thoughts about it, let us know. Uh, you can hit us up on Twitter at DB Super Dope 1, on Instagram at DB Super Dope, or email um, DB Super Dope at gmail.com. Good job, Tyler. Thank you for having me. Good job, Feds. Thanks. Good job, Scott. Yeah. Did you drink all that Jameson? Uh, um, I'm going to finish it after. <laughs> gonna raise my hand with a peace sign. Gotta save it whiskey for later. Is that the outro? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I liked it. It's not as good as the intro, but like. It's the same song. Yeah, but you played that on a guitar. <laughs> I just played that one with my mouth. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>